There's a new rhythm to the month of May here in Indianapolis. For the first time ever, IndyCar and the Indianapolis Motor Speedway are staging the Grand Prix of Indianapolis on the revamped IMS road course. While this race won't rival the 500 in attendance, at least not for a while, the race itself is going to have a significant impact. We had to do something different to get people excited again uh, about opening weekend, really. And so, you know, by doing this, I think we've, uh, we've added quite a bit to it. The crowd is phenomenal today. Uh, you know, it seems like the support has been really good, and that's what we needed. So, you know, it's big for us. It's big for Honda, big for National Guard to kind of start this month off correctly, and that all starts today. Racers tend to be individualists, but this new event in Indy has strong support this weekend from team owners and other drivers as well. The Indy Grand Prix road course, this is a new challenge for us and uh, something that, you know, the drivers all seem to be really relishing. I think they did a great job reconfiguring this track, and uh, I'm, ex I'm anticipating a great race tomorrow. Talk about this event a little bit. How special is it to run on the road course here? It's special uh, because it's in Indy, and uh, this series is called Verizon IndyCar Series, so uh, it makes a lot of sense. You know, it's, uh, it's a good way to show to the locals and to the IndyCar fans that uh, IndyCar is not just about the Indy 500, even though it is the biggest event in the world, the biggest race in the world, it is, IndyCar is also about a championship, so what a perfect way uh, to do it here in Indianapolis. So I'm um, very happy to start the month of May here for the Grand Prix. One former IndyCar executive who's now a motorsports consultant says the new event is a building block for the entire sport. It's very important both to the IndyCar series and to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway. In, in what way? What does this do for the brand of IndyCar? What does it do for the sport? It's really an interesting return to the roots of IndyCar racing. You know, back in 1909 when this facility was first designed, there was a road course incorporated into the design. So here we come full circle. Here is 2014 and we're road racing at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway with IndyCars. It's going to build its own fan base. It's going to become really the, the true opening of the month of May and really starts a lot of excitement for an entire month. What about the corporate partners like Honda? What does it mean to have an additional weekend of racing here? It's fantastic. I think anything that draws more attention to the sport is good for all sponsors, including Honda. But the final verdict will be rendered by fans who are turning out in strong numbers. The layout of the course is pretty cool. Um, if, you, if you find a good spot on the track, it's, it's pretty neat to watch. What about be, the experience of coming to the Speedway? The Speedway itself is unreal. Um, I feel like I could spend an entire day here just walking around without a race going on. Uh, the museum and just all the history here is, is outstanding. The atmosphere is great. At Indianapolis Motor Speedway, Rick Benjamin, Honda Racing, HPD Trackside.